Everybody, how is everyone doing? Um, welcome to my channel where I do unboxings and weekly tarot reads. Today I'll be doing the collective reading for the week 27th of March to the 2nd of April. So I'm going to do the tarot part with the Lightseers Tarot deck. I'm going to pull a card for the past, present and future wisdom and guidance. And then I'll follow it up with an oracle card from Work to Light. And then I'll go into individual card readings for um, the four elements. So air signs, fire signs, earth signs, water signs. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this reading. I hope it resonates. Here we go. Okay, so we have our three cards. So for our um, wisdom of the past, we have the Ten of Pentacles, a lovely, beautiful, vibrant card. So this speaks of in our recent past, just having that um, feeling grateful for the investments that we've made. Um, typically, the Pentacles is all about wealth, but um, this can mean anything that we value in the earthly realm. So this could be our health. This can be our connections with others. Um, so just being grateful um, for the beautiful, bountiful harvest um, that we've we've accrued over over the over the years, or however long um, time frame it is, and yeah, just basking in it, um, just having lots of gratitude. So I thought that this is a card about gratitude and also inspiration because we're at the ten, and ten is all about completion. So this asks us like, okay, what's the next? Um, What's the next venture? And wisdom for the present is oh, Knight of Wands, a beautiful fiery card. So um, for me, this is all about marching to the beat of your own drum. So this week, you know, carve some time out to have some fun, to really celebrate what makes you unique. Um, what drives you, um, what brings out the childlike nature in you, um, in, in a fun way, of course. Yeah, um, this is a beautiful card. It just, it's really reminiscent of the Four of Wands, um, talking about celebrating and embracing um, your positive attributes. So yeah, this is a really beautiful card and I'm loving all the orange. Um, perhaps this week is all about um embracing and nurturing your sacral chakra so to ignite some creation and some fun um yeah it's a really positive card and for our future wisdom we have uh the emperor card wow lots of oranges and reds we are in every season after all um so yeah, that's a nice little finish to the mini read. Um, using our fire, um, using the Mars energy of the Emperor of the Airy season that we're currently in to get things done. Um, you know, really embracing and celebrating our strengths and holding space for ourselves and for others. Beautiful, beautiful. Also cool to use if you're into crystal healing, um, using crystals like orange calcite, carnelian or red jasper. So it really connect to our creativity centers uh, in our sacral chakra. And also um, could be a call to um, if any of us are having, are dealing, are trying to heal um, some anger issues, etc. We can use this season, use, use this season, use this energy to transmute our anger into getting things um, done. Lovely. So now I'm just in a card from Work Your Life Oracle, um, one Oracle card just to sum up this general reading.
and our card for the week is deep replenishment retreat rest be held okay so co complete contrast in color we've got this icy blue and it's all telling us to rest or to replenish anyway um so uh, yeah i feel like it really ties in well because replenishing isn't just about being still and like taking naps and recuperating it's also about filling our cup making sure you know we're sorting ourselves out before we can help others so again in tying in with the emperor energy and the knight of wands it's basically talking about this week doing what pleases you doing what puts a smile on your face doing what keeps makes you feel feel alive makes you want to wake up the next day and be really like excited about life so yeah this week is just a call to fill your cup basically replenish yourself replenish yourself um yeah lovely i do what pleases me i think there's a line off of one of elizabeth taylor's movies <laughs> i love the luxurious um feel of it just laying back and receiving So I'm just going to read from the booklet that comes with this oracle deck just to get some extra um, nuggets from it. Okay, so um, deep replenishment. The most selfless thing you can do is to fill up your own inner well. When we are running around half yard, we subconsciously look to things and people around us to give us nourishment and nurturing that we so deeply crave. Nothing can grow in barren lands. You are no good to anyone if you're running on empty. The feminine is bountiful, fertile and rich. Tend to your own well and watch as the amount you have to give multiplies. If your inner well isn't full, you will find yourself craving things from outside world to fill it. This is our body's instinctive way of reaching for the grounding and nurturing that we are not allowing ourselves. What nourishes you? What refuels your body? What is nectar for your soul? What brings you back to life? What is your secret medicine? What makes you feel abundant and fertile? overspilling with life it may be gardening arranging flowers getting a massage using luxurious essential oils snuggling up on the couch hiking sipping a good cup of coffee at your favorite cafe attending a woman's circle reading about sacred sites spontaneous bike rides walking along the beach or yin yoga what nourishes you is your medicine when you give yourself the medicine that you need to be nourished you nourish all those around you for there is more than enough to go around. Work your light action. Do something that deeply replenishes you today. Oh, that's beautiful. So yeah, it's all about sitting back and receiving. And like everyone's idea of replenishment is going to be completely different. For example, mine is literally sitting on the couch with some butter popcorn, snuggled up in a blanket, watching a slasher movie. <laughs> that's my idea of peace. And oh, it's raining outside and there's a, there's a thunderstorm. Perfect. And I'm burning incense. Um, in the description, in the comments below, please let me know what is your idea of replenishment. <laughs> I'll be really curious to know. Okay. And now I'm going to select um, one card um, for each elemental sign. Start with the air signs. This oracle deck is called um, the Prairie Majesty Oracle. And it's really good for um, journaling. Okay, so for air signs, Libra, Aquarius and Gemini, we have the takeover card. It is it time to reclaim and reinvent the structures in my life? Mm. So again, um, strong Aries energy, strong Mars energy. So I feel like it's, this is like an invitation to really be bold and make ourselves be seen and heard if, um, if we're struggling in this area. Um, also, if we have any imposter syndrome this week um this is an invitation to just to investigate that and just to list all of your strengths and the reasons why you're in that position or you're in or you have a certain lifestyle that you feel like you're an imposter in so yeah just be, a time to pick yourself up this week and now let's select a card for our beloved water signs so that's pisces cancer and scorpio we have oh flip <laughs> and you have to flip the card so how does the situation look and feel from a, di a different view hmm, stink bug 
so this is very much giving um hangman energy um so this week um this could be an invitation just to look at a your situation or somebody else's situation from a, another position position and um i feel like this will open up um it will give a ch it will open up a different kind of conversation which will open up different ideas and solutions to maybe a problem um so i will definitely maybe take some time to meditate to be still and look at a certain situation and try to look at it objectively or in somebody else's shoes etc um and maybe we might get in some really valuable insights and for our fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries, we have the card Trust, White Tail Deer. So, um, am I honouring, am I honouring my knowing? So, I feel like this is about intuition and really trusting your intuition. Sometimes our intuition can save us a lot of heart, um, heartache and stress. Um, and I love how they picked the deer because the deer is such a beautiful, graceful animal. However, um, with the, you know, their eyes are really at the side of their face so that they can um, detect predators around them or detect a dangerous situation. But yet, they're very graceful when they do it. So this is speaking of just like protecting your peace. Um, having that really strong, unbothered vibe to you, um, just trusting in yourself, just not necessarily getting into the mess of any drama or any he says, she says. It's really trusting, like, having a, a natural sniff it out a situation. So, yeah, carry on with your, intu your intuition and just being confident in your knowledge. And last but not least, our Earth signs. So, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, you have notice part of the crow. What can I learn from observation? Lovely, lovely, lovely. So... I feel like this is really a, a nice little nudge for um, our earth signs to um, practice some mindfulness. So really notice um, your environment around you as you go about your everyday. Really soak in the essence of the day. Really be present. Um, yeah, I think that this is a practice where you can do like the five senses. Like five, or name five things I can see. Name f four things I can smell. Three things I can touch etc etc um just really soak in your your days this week and you'll just you know you'll be surprised what you notice and you might learn something new and it might give you another burst of you know burst or zest for life so yeah just practicing that mindfulness and our back of the deck energy is the empress lovely 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 so you've got this beautiful grounding energy this feminine energy and remember, everybody has femininity and masculinity within them, no matter how you present yourself um, as. Um, and yeah, and creativity as well. Um, as you remember, we had a lot of creativity-based creativity cards and colours, um, talking about linking with our sacral chakra. So yes, creating um, while resting and while playing. But yeah... I love that. Beautiful message for this week. I hope this was helpful. Catch up with you soon. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe if the messages resonate, if you enjoy these readings. And yeah, talk to you all soon. Bye.